Hey guys, uh, Flaming Shark back in our video, and today I'm doing another reaction video. And today this is none other than My Little Pony, Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks exclusive short, Music to My Ears. Um, I would say, I would just get straight into it, but I do have a little tiny bit I want to talk about. First, an apology for no reactions over the last week. I've been busy. I'm not going to make excuses. I've been busy. That's all there is to it. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to make sure it doesn't happen again. And the and in fact, I'm going to be busy next week, and I probably won't have any time to record. So, what I am doing these commentaries, I am at recording every short today, right now. The second I'm done with this short, I'm gonna, I'm going to do the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. However many there are, I'm not quite sure. And then pretty much every day, I'll, I'll, I'll upload one of them because they'll be super fast to upload, and they should be easy to edit because they're really short. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun, and, uh, you guys might not be getting what the commentaries you use to those full-length, like, big commentaries of episodes of shows, but it's still something, you know, to see me commentate, react. Um, I've heard a ton of good things about these shorts. I mean, I know everybody was like, ooh, for Rainbow Rocks until they saw these shorts. Um, music to my ears, do I have a prediction? It's going to have a song in it. <laughs> That's my prediction. I mean, come on. So, yeah. MLP, Equestria your Girls, Rainbow Rocks. This is short music to my ears. Okay, you know what I'm talking about now. You know what I'm reacting to. It should be in the description. I'll probably just put, like, MLP fan music to my ears. That's probably what I'll do. Or, you know, something like that. Anywho, um... Yeah, so, uh, let's get this video started. In three, two, one. Play. All right, Crestia Girls Rainbow Rock. Music to my ears. Vinyl, perhaps? That kind of seemed vinyl esque. I doubt they'd have. Um, yep, there's vinyl. Interesting. So we're gonna get a vinyl song, maybe? But she's never talked, so no way. Oh god! No way! No! Don't tell me! Oh! It's but oh! Oh, this is dubstep! Oh yes, I got chills. I got chills. They just admitted that. Oh, dubstep in my little pony. Let's go, baby. Oh, this is good. Oh, shit, Ingram. I like that. It's really good dubstep. It's really high quality, because it's Daniel Ingram. Everything's high quality from Daniel. Oh. I barely, I don't even want to talk through this, but it's like, not just that it's super good, it's not too hardcore. So like the fans, the people who aren't fans of dubstep won't hate it because it's not like overkill dubstep. It's just quality. It's like, it's like, um, when, have you ever heard a rap song, like the soft rap from a really good rapper, that's a really good rap song, but it's like not that like, uh, eccentric and explicit? That's kind of what this rap is, I, this dubstep. It's not necessarily smooth dubstep. What? Aw, oh, she didn't talk. I, I, I saw that coming, I predicted that. Uh, let's see them. I, I saw, I saw the main six and everything. Nice! Oh, but this is... You can tell this is dubstep, but it's high quality, it's not over the top. Like, Skrillex is not even that good at dubstep. Overrated as shit. I don't like Skrillex. But I do love dubstep. I'm big on dubstep, and I know this is good dubstep. Oh, aww. School bell ring. Nice. Uh-oh. Principal Celestia. Aww. I bet she has another pair of headphones in her, like, in her somewhere. Oh, earphones! That works too! Huh? Is that it? Wow! I know my face just started to glitch out right there, but um... Wow! That was amazing! Um... Wow! A lot of props to um... Everybody who worked on this, this was amazing. Um... Hey guys, 
uh, Flaming Shark Record and Review, and today I'm talking about my, uh, this is my, not talk, I, I, I am talking, but, uh, sorry, I just rewatched. I actually rewatched not necessarily the video exactly, but I actually watched my commentary, so I, just to get my, uh, music, this episode, okay, into my ears, the dubstep vinyl, one, <laughs> music to my ears, okay. Um, this was really good. Uh, this was really good. You guys have to say, I'm saying this in foresight after already seeing all of them. Was this the best one in terms of epicness and, like, something that I'd really want to see as a fan? Yes. In terms of clever writing, it's not the best one, but in terms of the music as well. Gosh, holy shit, I need to download that. <laughs> that was really good stuff, so, you know, by all means, um, all the credit in the world to Ingram, or if, if he worked with somebody else with this song, um, cause I don't know, um, but I'm just assuming it was Ingram, I'll put, if I'm wrong, I'll put a credit, so you'll be looking at probably a picture of something, Tony related, probably vinyl related, in fact it will be vinyl related, but, um, there will be somewhere along there, there will be a, uh, a credit to whoever actually wrote the song, if Ingram wasn't the man. Um, so yeah, great song, I loved it, it was great, I loved Dumpstep, and that was really good for Dumpstep. That will definitely be downloaded, <laughs> um, undeniably. So, yeah, really good. Not lots to talk about a quick video like that, but, um, it certainly was worth my time. It was, um, they were... All of them except one was worth my time. There was one that really I did not like. And you guys will see my commentary of that in a little while. But um, I'm not going to spoil you on which one that is. You can just take a guess. Anywho, um, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you next tomorrow with... um, What was the second commentary? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow with something. I can't remember what it was. But it is something. So... Bye. <laughs> uh, hey guys, Flynn and Shark back on our video, and today this is my third reaction video, I believe. Um, this is going to be Ham Stockalus, Ham Sto Stockalus, Calypse, Ham Stop, Ham Stockalypse. Now, like Apocalypse, but instead it's Hamster Apocalypse. I don't even know now. Um. God, it's a Fluttershy. Hamsters are animals, so it has something to do with Fluttershy. That's my prediction. Um, I'm actually been two for two, I'd say. I mean, I predicted... I predicted... No, I didn't predict music to my ears. Well, I did. It was a song, but that didn't really count. So far, both songs have been instrumental. We've not had a lyrical song. I remember the trailer was Shake Your Tail. Don't quote me on that, but I believe it was Shake Your Tail. I can't tell if these are part of the movie or not. They might be, they might not. Anywho, um, and also, yeah, like, they're short, but the movie is written by Megan McCarthy, and these are all written by different people, so I don't know. I can't tell if these are part of the movie or not. I'm going to keep watching and see if I can figure it out as we go along. So, anywho, uh, My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, Rainbow Rocks, exclusive short, Tam Stockalypse, now... That name is ridiculous. That's like, that's one of those stupid names. We'll commence in three, two, one, play. Sorry. What? Oh, they have a little title sequence. Nice. Thanks for coming, Nerdy. How'd I call it again? All the help it can get. Oh, but of course. Yeah. Cute little puppies and kitties will never go out of style. <laughs> nice. Stop the freaking! I hate that. I need to cancel that. Months ago to be sure I get it. House cleaning. Ooh, I'm not a shy darling. Yeah. Hamsters are rodents. Oh yeah. But they're cute and cuddly like bunnies. Wow. Every hamster. Follow Every her hamster. Room. She'll take good care of you while I give your home a nice scrub. <laughs> Look at Fluttershy, she's all like, nice. Rarity, what happened? Oh. Ah. Well, uh, Carl Peddington's coat just begged to be.
the accessorized. Her heart refused to be left out and got Curtis Paul power to chew right through Carl's little scarf. And before I knew it, what? I had a top white feud on my hands. What? Also, I named them. <laughs> Ladies and gentle hamsters, please. Really? This is hurting my face. Oh, you're all upset. But why don't we head back into the habitat and talk it over? <laughs> oh. Whoa, they're not listening to Fluttershy? That's bad. Birdie's like, fuck your shit. Oh, what? It's like, it's like the Parasprites. They're like Parasprites. Nice. Don't hit that up. Okay, it was her hip, not her ass. I was about to say, comment something. That is so cheating! It's so cheating that they could do that with frickin' music. I never would have guessed hamsters could be so touchy about fashion. Wow. What?! Okay, that was undeniably the worst commentary. I mean, that was the worst frickin' thing. That one was pretty bad. I, I don't know what to say about that. I didn't like it. I'm sorry, but I didn't like that one at all. I really want to like Fluttershy, but everything she does just sucks now. She used to be so cute and so awesome, but now she's just gotten old, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Uh, hey guys, Fleming Shark back on our video, and today another blind reaction. And by today, I mean I just did the other one. I actually got interrupted right at the very end, so I had to cut it off, and... You'll notice in my commentary, I'll probably also mention that, so I don't know why I'm mentioning it, but because I just recorded it, so I'm not used to doing this. So, next is my next commentary. Um, by now, it should be tomorrow, hopefully. Um, this is guitar-centered. So, it's going to have something to do, there's going to be some guitars. So, we got dubstep in music to my ears. And trust me, I'm really, like hard right now. Oh, I love dubstep. This is guitar centered. I'm guessing it's going to be some rock and roll. Um, no prediction other than that. Um, but it's definitely going to have to do with guitars. It's not going to be dubstep. We're not going to get more dubstep. I wouldn't mind though, but uh, that's not going to happen. Anywho, why not get straight into it in three, two, one. Oh, hold it. I didn't name this ridiculously long title, which I gotta do first for this to be, like, truly awesome. MLP, Equestria Girls, Rainbow Rocks exclusive short, guitar-centered, will commence in three, two, one, play. Alrighty, what do we got here? Guitar-centered. So we got Rainbow Dash, and who is that? Hi, Vinyl. Don't understand why you can't just play the guitar you have. Is it Lyra's guitar? Oh, it looks... this one? No. Right no. no. Super creepy. No, Pinky. No. Well, what you looking for? That's the problem. I need something that looks as awesome as I'm gonna make it sound. <gasps> nice. That's epic, but it's a double guitar. Oh, Trixie wants it too. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Sounds to me like this is a making for a nice, friendly competition. All right. Let's see who plays best. Oh, boy. Shred off. A shred off? Oh, God. I'm turning this up. Here we go. I turned it up. I'm sorry for you guys who don't want to hear it really loud. It's Nice. Nice. I don't have a pick. Oh shit! What the hell? That's cheating. She's using rainbow power. <laughs> that was so unfair. Check me out. His <laughs> final. Oh, vinyl wants the store. Uh, she can have it. Turns out 
This is the one that really speaks to me. And <laughs> knife. The great <laughs> and powerful Trixie always wins in the end. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh damn. Nice. Wow. Oh, Pinky. That was entertaining. Alright, um, let's move on to the next one, shall we? All right. Uh, hey guys, uh, Flame and Shark back with another video, and this is another blind reaction to the Equestria Girls Rainbow Rocks short. Today we got Player Piano, which prediction. I don't know who the piano player in this band is. I didn't even know they had a piano, but considering the main six and who's already taken, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Fluttershot, I guess Fluttershy just does, I, I don't know. It still could be Fluttershy, but I'm pretty certain the piano player should be Rarity. Um, yeah. So my prediction is it's gonna be about, we're gonna get some piano playing, which should be really nice. I love the piano. And a rarity should be player, so um, that should be good. Yeah. I got nothing more to say, why don't we get straight into it. Uh, My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, Rainbow Rocks, exclusive short, player piano, interesting name by the way. We'll begin in three, two, one, play. Alrighty, what do we got? Yep, I called it again. So predictable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Rarity. We simply must get this piano to band practice. <sighs> nice. What <laughs> person doesn't put a piano on wheels? <laughs> Rarity is the person. Look at me. I'm a mess. You look like a band singer. A bit more money. <gasps> Are those the diamond dog? No. Oh my god. Oh my god, rarity you. I think you can't thank you enough. And while I am a bit you whore. The musky smell, I can appreciate that you are diamond in the rock. Wow! The puns are out of this world. <laughs> wow. Nice. <laughs> Ugh, where is rarity? That gal probably just wants to make some sort of grand entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Rarity, couldn't you have chosen a more portable instrument? Heavens no. The grand piano is the most refined and elegant of instruments. With it, I will be able to express my full musicality. Well, our time's up. I guess we'll have to move our practice to the gym. Guess you're gonna express your full musicality clear across campus. <laughs> guess you don't know how to play it. It's part guitar, part keyboard. It's a guitar key. You mean a guitar? Potato, tomato. <laughs> Potato, tomato. That was good. Ooh, ooh. Oh my! Uh oh, here we go. Really? I don't know if that fits Rarity, but I guess we had to give her something. But I guess you know that shows to Rarity's other side. Nice. Well then. To take that guitar and move your tail to our next rehearsal space. Fine, fine. I don't suppose. Okay. Hey guys, Flamin' Shark, back in our video, and today we'll be reacting to Pinky on the One, the next Equestria Girl short. Um, it's gonna be about Pinky, and I believe. She's the drummer of the group. One, it fits her. And two, I want to say I've, I, I remember her being the drummer in the trailer. I, 
besides, even if she wasn't the drummer, I, none of the others fit to be a drummer. Um, so yeah. Let's see what we got here. Uh, this is going to be Pinky on the one, so it's going to be about drumming and Pinky, that's my guess. Um, like I said, I've been really good on these predictions so lately. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm right or wrong or whatever, whatever leads to the best reaction and the best thing for me to react to, because I want a good one. Hamstock, the last one, <laughs> I didn't like. Um, I, I like, I liked the first two a lot. I love the Rainbow Dash Trixie interaction. That was great. That whole thing was just, that one had the most clever writing. And while, honestly, to be honest, the first one wasn't the most clever, it was dubstep and vinyl scratch. That's an instant. It doesn't even have to be clever to be awesome at that point. So, you know. Anywho, let's get this video started. My Little Pony, Equestria Girls, Rainbow Rocks, exclusive short, Pinky on the One. We'll commence in three, two, one, play. Alrighty. What do we got? Pinky on the One. Oh, maybe it's not drums. Yes, remember. The most important thing about sugar butter cocoa cookies is what? to hold your batter. Too much arm turning will make your cookies tougher than a lump of coal. <laughs> Come on, Pinky. You're supposed to help me find a drummer for my band. Why do I, I never remember? A little faster. Nice. Isn't it she the drummer? Hard it is to find someone who can use both hands the way a drummer does. Oh, that's Wow. Now, You're stupid. That our banner look awesome. So feel free to use as much glitter as you want. A drummer can't just be anybody. Oh, of course not. Wow. To have the right instincts, you know? Totally. Wow. Did you finally realize it, Rainbow? Oh, oh my God, Rainbow looks amazing. She needs to be like that all the time. Absolutely. <laughs> Are you that blind? A lot. Energy, enthusiasm. <laughs> oh, what? Rainbow, how stupid are you? They have to be able to carry the whole band on their shoulders. Are you that? Are you that stupid, Rainbow? We've got to find an outlet for all that energy. <laughs> Finally! Thank you, Rainbow. Oh, here it comes. Nice. Oh, her hair. Oh, God. That's creepy. Have a sense for these things. Really, Rainbow? Yeah, thank you, Pinky. We needed that. Bum, bum, that was a pretty good video. I was supposed to post this one before I post Player Piano, but it's too late for that. It was interesting. Um, like I said, it had been a long time since I had watched it, and I just rewatched it, and it was fun to rewatch. I enjoyed it. Um, Pinky on the One was a very good commentary. I mean, it was very good, uh, short, one of the better ones, um, actually might have been, I mean, Rainbow was pretty stupid in it, which was a little too strong for, you know, out of character, I mean, especially after testing, testing, one, two, three, but, um, it was still a good short, Pinky was amazing in it, um, and I loved it, so, uh, yeah, not much else to say, it's a short, there's not much I can analyze, I'm not really going to go into it, um, Outside, I probably won't go into any of these, any of these, other than, of course, the first one. I can't remember if I went into Guitar Centered, but the only one I remember going in depth into was um, the, the the vinyl one for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, so that's not much else. Um, but before I go, because I'm bored and I like to give, and I'm just gonna give shout out to random people because I do, you know, I definitely should. I'm definitely really bad with the artwork and the um, music that I use in my, um, videos, so I'm definitely going to give a shout out to Pony Phonic for the outro music, Harmony Ascendant, which is 
one of the best songs I've heard out of this fandom in a while. And um, in my opinion, I think it's godlike. So I'll be using the intro to his song for my outro music. Um, if you want the the actual song, you're going to have to go to his channel and watch his amazing video. Uh, uh, Pony Phonics, amazing. Um, you know, the Larsons, they're pretty incredible people. Anywho, let's um, get, let's say bye because I have nothing else to say. So I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Flim and Shark signing out. Peace. It was always very loud back then. A great agitation issued from the ground itself, rising into the air and filling all with discontent and worry. Beneath us stretched a mad landscape of spots and checkers. Above twisted a kaleidoscope sky, and all between was ceaseless, unbroken chaos. Eventually, we grew callous to the clamor, and slipped from anxiety into malaise, shedding our passion and our purpose. It was thus that the two great sisters found us. From somewhere beyond the horizon they came, seeing beauty amidst the battle. They took up our sad world between them and tamed it, bending it to their will. And when the earth was ready, they looked to the sky, and there gave us their greatest gift. gotta watch his video. I'm not giving you the song. Go to his channel, not mine. <laughs> Amateurs. Alrighty guys, I got three more to go. Um, next up, the case for the base. Because this is the Flaming Shark and this is another blind reaction to Equestria Girls Rainbow Rock Shorts. Like I just said, a case for the base. Or ba okay, yeah. I always have the urge to say bass. I almost did it right there. Yeah, I know it's bass. Okay. Um, prediction, prediction. Um, yeah. Who's left? Applejack, Twilight, and it wouldn't be Fluttershy. Rarity's already used. Rainbow's already used. Pinky's already used. It's either Applejack or Twilight. It's got to be Applejack. I don't think Twilight... Also, of course, they saved Twilight for last. Let's just like them. Yeah. So, this is going to be Applejack short. Yep. That's my prediction. Also, um, yeah. So, I've watched enough of these to realize that it looks like these are actually going to be in the movie. Who would have guessed? This really looks like it's part of the movie storyline. I mean, seriously. I hope that includes the dubstep part, though. That was fucking amazing. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, excuse the language there. That was amazing. Anywho, my uh, MLP, A Quest Your Girls, Rainbow Rocks, exclusive short, A Case for the Bass, will commence in... Three, two, one... Play. Okay, what do we got? One more time. When you accidentally sold my base at the garage sale, who did you yep. sell it to? Yeah, I, I sold it to the owners of that new pawn shop. 
No way. Flippity flabbity, the, the pawn shop owner? Of course. Wow. <laughs> wow. I can give you this base for a non-negotiable price of one thousand dollars. Why you only paid Granny Smith two dollars for it? Yes, well, what? we have to cover our overhead and transportation costs. Listen, Granny never should have sold my base. I'll give you the two dollars back, and we'll call it even. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes. Likely story. It is. That's my yeah. base. Yeah. And can you prove that this is in fact your base? Her initials are monogrammed right on the strap. That could mean anything. It could stand for Aardvark Jr. and Will Jokers. Or Animal J. Why, I mean, you don't <laughs> Animal J. Applejack. If that is your real name. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. She does play the base. Wow. Nice. Oh, damn. Cheater number five. Perhaps this is her base. Damn. But there are still the transportation costs and overhead. Don't forget the stocking fees. Wouldn't dream of it, brother. <sighs> Whoa. Then again, I suppose we could make some sort of tree. Come on down to the grand opening of the Flim Flam Brothers Everything Under the Sun Emporium. <laughs> Since when do you play the bass? Wow, Granny, you suck. <laughs> that was great entertainment, I will admit. Wow. That was good. Very, very good.